In this video, I'll provide an introduction to the two most common techniques used to adjust for age when comparing mortality rates, direct age adjustment and indirect age adjustment. Say we wanted to compare the mortality of two populations. Our first population is a mix of people of different ages. So was our second. When we measure what we call the crude mortality rate, we see that 17 out of every 1,000 people from population 1 died, and 47 out of every 1,000 people in population 2 died. Based on this crude mortality rate, we might say that people in population 2 are dying at a greater rate than people in population 1. But if we compare this first population to the second population, we notice that the second population has a lot more older people in it. Age is very strongly related to the likelihood of death. Epidemiologists often want to know how mortality compares between two populations after accounting for differences in the age distribution between the populations. The first technique that is used is called direct age adjustment. The first step is to split up each population into different age groups then to calculate the mortality rate for each of the age groups as shown here for population 1. This slide shows the mortality, mortality rates for each age group in population 2. For direct age adjustment, we then apply the age-specific mortality rates from our two populations to the age distribution of a third standard population. In other words, we are taking the difference in age distribution between population 1 and 2 out of the equation by using the age distribution of a third population. In this slide, we are applying population 1's mortality rate to our standard population's age distribution to get the expected number of deaths for each age group. We then sum the total population and expected number of deaths and use these numbers to calculate our new mortality rate. In this case, our adjusted mortality rate for population 1 is 31 per 1,000. Then we do the same thing for population 2. We apply population 2's age-specific mortality rates to the standard population's age distribution to get the expected number of deaths for each age group, sum the totals, and compute our age-adjusted mortality rate. In this case, our, our age-adjusted mortality rate for population 2 is 35 per 1,000. Now we can compare the age-adjusted mortality rates between population 1 and population 2. As you can tell, the adjusted mortality rates are much closer together than the crude mortality rates. In other words, after we took the differences in age between population 1 and population 2 out of the equation, the death rates were much more comparable. The second method of age adjustment, indirect adjustment, requires a couple of more steps than direct age adjustment. Epidemiologists use indirect age adjustment when the age-specific numbers of people dead are small, as shown here. In this case, mortality rates are unreliable because they are based on such a small number of actual deaths. Here we have the same problem with our comparison population. As a reminder, when we use direct age adjustment, we ap applied population 1 and population 2 age-specific mortality rates to a third standard population's age distribution. With indirect adjustment, we do the opposite. We apply a third standard population's age-specific mortality rates to the age distributions of our two comparison populations. This slide shows the calculations for population 1. We use the standard population's mortality rates and population 1's age distribution to estimate the expected number of dead individuals for each age group. We then calculate something called the Standardized Mortality Ratio, or SMR. The SMR is the ratio of the number of observed deaths that occurred in our population to the number of expected deaths based on the standard population's mortality rate. 
For population 1, the ratio is 0.71. Our adjusted rate is then the crude mortality rate times the standardized mortality ratio. For population 1, the adjusted rate is 12 per 1,000. Then we follow the same procedure for population 2. We, we apply the standard population's mortality rates to population 2's age distribution to calculate expected deaths. We then calculate the SMR by dividing the observed number of deaths by the expected number of deaths. Lastly, we calculate the adjusted rate by multiplying the standardized mortality ratio by the crude rate. In this case, our adjusted mortality rate is 43 out of 1,000. We can then compare the adjusted mortality rates between the two populations. In this case, the differences between population 1 and 2 did not change much after adjustment for age, suggesting that the differences in mortality rate between the two populations are attributable to factors other than age. So to summarize, for direct age adjustment, we apply the age-specific mortality rates from our populations of interest to a standard population's age distribution. For indirect adjustment, we apply the age-specific mortality rates from a standard population to the age distributions of our populations of interest.